easier than steaming up some broccoli or sauteing some kale or you know doing a, a roasted pepper thing, right? Easier to get fruits in than veggies. Fruits have a higher sugar content than most veggies do. Okay, so what we're going to say is that two servings at one meal is the max. So don't go and grab the whole watermelon and just mac it up at this point. Okay? You're going to have two servings of watermelon, which is going to be outlined on the page that you guys are filling in your uh, you know, portion size on. The other thing is that I had eggs, some avocado, and strawberries for breakfast. Good job. At lunch, I had um, a piece of uh, chicken uh, with a little bit of, uh, you know, an aioli that I made on it for my fat source. Plus, not some terms on you right now. Okay? That's an oil-based thing. And I had um, some grapes. Awesome. So you had some uh, fruit at breakfast with no veggies. You had some fruit at lunch with no veggies. And now you're going to go and have your dinner. And so what we start to see is that it's easy to just, again, convenient to just grab fruit, not vegetables. So you're only allowed one meal a day where fruit is your sole carbohydrate. Okay, so one meal with only fruit. And this brings me right to my next point because I haven't even talked about it yet. And that is we're now about to dive into how we have to combine these things to make proper meals for ourselves. You're like, I'm, I'm kind of jumping a step here, but I had to point out that fruit and nuts are kind of the two things that we really like, but we have to be careful not to just overdo it, okay? Dried fruit, dried fruit. Dry fruit, same. Just the servings is gonna be really disappointing, okay? <laughs> Well, almond meal is uh, just a fat because it's just a nut. Okay. It's just been ground up. Uh, coconut meal, coconut flour is kind of like, it's really high fiber. There's a little bit of a fat content to it. So I would kind of say it's like sort of fat, sort of carb, but it's kind of a, it's kind of a no factor. There's not, a lot of ton, there's not a ton of nutrients that you get from that coconut flour uh, that help balance this out. Flax and chia seeds are, are fats. Um, you know, again, the, the seed issue, you know, you're, you're getting some omega-3s from those things, but you're really not helping to fix this, this issue of uh, omega-6 balance. Um, so you can have them as a fat source. I'm not a huge, I'm not big on, on those seeds. Oh, peanut butter. Yeah, oh, peanut butter. butter. So a peanut is, is not, <laughs> it's not enough. It's a bean. It's a bean, and it's not a protein source, it's not a fat source, it's not a lot. That's not almond butter. Almond butter. Almond butter. That's a nut, and it's a butter, and it's good to go. Yeah. Okay. It's nut and butter. Combined. <laughs> okay, so I gotta move on. So, nutrition brings us to like the crux of this thing. You're accumulating points based upon good behaviors, based upon doing the, eating the right meal, and doing the right thing most times of the day, okay? There's X number of points in a day that you can accumulate. A perfect day is 21 points. I think 21 points, all right? So we'll start to break it down. Where do you get those points from? Well, there's breakfast. Breakfast is worth up to three points. For three points, you need to have protein and fat. The carb is optional at breakfast. We found that it used to be that it had to be protein, fat, and carbohydrate. However, a lot of people do very well with just protein and fat to start their day. If you do not have protein in your first meal of the day, and that meal does not happen before 10 a.m., you're setting yourself up for uh, a hormonal disaster for the rest of the day. Okay? So your day starts with a latte that's filled up with non-fat milk that's got some pumps of vanilla in it okay, and a swirl of chocolate. And you are 
and that happened at 1030 because you woke up a little late, then I just, I just pray. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we make breakfast. We get a protein, fish, I'm going to have salmon for breakfast, yeah, lox, okay? I'm going to have a fat source, well that happens to be a protein and fat combo, but if I wanted to I could add a little avocado to the side, or maybe a, a splash of heavy cream in my coffee, okay? And then if I wanted to have a carb because I was feeling a little carby in the morning, then I maybe cut up an apple, alright, and I add that too. Great meal, okay? That's you just started your day off and you set yourself up for success. Then we get to lunch and dinner. I'm gonna get there, right? Snacks? I have 10 snacks before lunch. <laughs> I'm a grazer. Okay, protein, fat, and carbohydrate. Absolute necessity at, at, at both of these meals. There's no optional stuff here. You need to get protein, you need to get fat, you need to get carbs. A PFC meal. Again, these are each worth three points. Snack. Okay? You can have as many snacks in a day as you like. As many as you like. They have to be, at minimum, protein fat. If you do not have protein and fat in your snack, it's not a snack, and it's a cheap food. That would be like, hmm, it's 2 o'clock, feel a little hungry, I'm going to grab this apple. I'm going to eat it. Okay? Sounds pretty good. It's a piece of fruit. It's not terrible. It's not like I grabbed a bag of meat or something like that. But you forgot. The most important macronutrient, protein, and maybe the second most important macronutrient, fat, in your meal. And therefore, you miss the opportunity to have a healthy signal based upon that. Right? We want to maintain satiety. We want to keep our insulin levels at a, at a, at a, in a state that's going to optimize our energy, our focus, and our metabolism. We want to do all these things, and the best way to do it is to include these things at those meals. Now, you're allowed to have carbs. But you must have these two, and then the carbs are optional. What does this look like? It looks like breakfast, right? So you can have breakfast any time of day. That's a score. Half of an avocado as a snack, and that just be it. Half of an avocado. That's a snack. That's a fat. Where's your protein source? Salami. Okay. Oh, so you have salami wrapped around some avocado? Bang! That's a snack. That's awesome. Alright. Next one. Oh, so you have one snack a day that you get points for. These are worth two points. Okay? Because we used to have two, two snacks available, and people were like, I can't eat that much food, but I want to get my points. And they eat them because they want points, and I understand. Points? I'm, I, I want points too. But if you don't feel like you, you can eat it, then don't eat it. Alright? But if you can, you can have snack two, and three, and so forth. There's one more meal, and that is the post-workout meal. This is 30 minutes after I finish my exercise. And you want to have protein and carb, okay? Not protein and fat. We're optimizing something here with our nutrient timing right after exercise, and that is getting the carbohydrate in there to signal the uptick of protein synthesis. So we need carbs right after we exercise to try and turn on the engine so that we can start taking the protein and shoving it in the muscles. Because you just did that hard exercise and you want to recover from it. So you're going to take two things when combined together have the power to actually get you there faster. So protein and carb right after the meal. This is a one pointer. And you only get credit for four of those a week because we're only giving credit for four workouts when I get to that. All right. Do you have, a, do you have like a recovery drink? That is recovery drink. That is, uh, you know, whey protein with the Gatorade. That is revive recovery. That is a whole host of other products on the market. It's a little bit of sweet potato and some chicken. It's a hard, hard boiled egg and a... Uh, you know, coconut water, it's something we white mix potato? in. Huh? White potato, baked potato? This would be, yeah, potato time, right? You could have some potato at this point. We want, we want some sugars and we want some protein. Okay? Mark, I have a question. What if your post-flat meal is your breakfast, lunch, or dinner, depending on where you work out today? 